There are hundreds of cold cases in the Permian Basin, some from as far back as the 60s. But now there's a new one to add to the list after questions were raised about a man convicted of murdering an Odessa priest. Here's Marcus Risen. Thanks, Crystal. Almost three weeks ago, news broke that Odessa PD investigators have deemed a man who was convicted on a murder almost 40 years ago innocent. This story was the basis for the first episode of News West 9's new cold case series, The Basins Unsolved. There have, been, there have been podcasts, I think there's been a book written about this. And people have been talking about it forever. Some cold cases have been cold for a long time. Frozen, if you will. This case, however, was just opened. New developments tonight in a cold case that has the leading suspect in question. Father Patrick Ryan was found murdered in a hotel here in Odessa, Texas. According to court documents, the priest's body wasn't found until the following day. It was here, in room 126, where Father Ryan's naked body was found with his hands bound behind his back. The room, capturing the violent last moments of Father Ryan's life. Blood all over the walls and floors, and fingerprints, which police were able to collect. But in 1981, they had no way of checking them. Please understand that the ability to compare those and the APHIS system that, that we have now didn't exist then. And with no eyewitnesses, the case went cold. Until about a year later, in comes James Harry Reyes. Through the investigation, a suspect was developed, um, uh, Mr. Reyes. Reyes reportedly gave a drunken confession for the murder of Ryan to New Mexico police and was arrested. Mr. Reyes was subsequently tried and convicted and sentenced, I believe, to 38 years in prison. I believe of those 38, he served 20 years and then was paroled. But later, he said he didn't do it. The case, however, gained national attention. Scholars back in 1990s were saying that James James's case was an example of a false confession. 40 years after the original case went to trial, Odessa Police Chief Michael Gerke began to suspect something didn't seem right. I uh, asked my my captain, Captain John Sykes, you know, bring me this case. I've, you know, I've heard some things about it. And as I was reading through the case and I got to the end and I, I just felt, wow, there should be more. And so the case was looked at again. As they did, they found um, other evidence. Um, and, and some other things that led us to believe that maybe Mr. Reyes did not actually commit this crime. He was in New Mexico for a long, a, a, a period of time, and it would, for him to, to get to Odessa to commit the crime, he would have to have driven at, ex, at an extremely high rate of speed all the way, I mean, for the timeline to fit. It doesn't make sense that there's fingerprints at the crime scene, but, there, but his fingerprints aren't at the crime scene. The Odessa Police Department got together with Allison Clayton and the Texas Innocence Project, and they were committed to prove Reyes's innocence. We filed the lawsuit because uh, there's proof of James's actual innocence. And as soon as we got proof of his innocence, and that's when we filed the lawsuit. So after 20 years behind bars and many more years serving parole, Reyes has plans for exoneration. So when you have a case like James's case where you know he's innocent, um, you can finally prove that he's innocent. You've got the help and the cooperation. It is, um, golly, it's one of the, the best feelings as an attorney, as a human being. But now the question becomes, who did kill Father Patrick Ryan in 1981? And with a 40 year head start, time isn't the only thing on the killer's side. In the 80s and 90s, police had different policies when it came to closed cases. As soon as a case was disposed and all of the appeals had been gone through, then the evidence could be destroyed. But investigators aren't giving up hope. The fingerprints found in room 126 were recently found in files and were never destroyed. Uh, some fingerprints were located um, in the room and uh, those, those people would have to explain why the, those fingerprints were in the room at the crime scene. One chapter for a convicted man trying to prove his innocence is closing. You, you can never put a timeline on solving a case. But for investigators, a new chapter is beginning. Honestly, it may never get solved at this point because you do have some, some now possible suspects that are deceased. And if no evidence can be found, well, it'll remain as just another one of the basins unsolved.
James Harry Rails has plans for exoneration, but we don't have an exact timeline on when the case will make its way through the system. But we will keep you updated as we have any more information. As for the OPD, they're working to try to figure out the newest cold case in West Texas.